Complete this one project, and I am positive that you'll impress some hiring managers. By the end of this five-part series, I will show you how to set up your own Active Directory environment, detect unauthorized logins with Splunk, and automate responses using Shuffle as our main SOAR platform, so that you can ultimately showcase a pretty solid hands-on project on your resume. If this is your first time seeing my video, hello, my name is Steven, and I have been in the cybersecurity industry for about eight years now within the security operations domain. On this channel, you will find various videos about career guidance, lab walkthroughs, and SOC-related projects like this one that you can tackle and put onto your portfolio. So if you're an aspiring SOC analyst, you are in the right place. In this video, I do want to introduce you to the Active Directory Project 2.0 which is a project that is similar to the one that I have on my channel, but the main difference is that we do get to create an alert with Splunk, integrate Slack and Shuffle for automation and response. So if you already completed the previous Active Directory project before, you should be comfortable setting up your own environment. But if you're not, don't worry, I'll be going over this again in this project. I will be doing everything in the cloud using Vulture, and you can use a $300 credit if you sign up using the link down below. But do note that you will need a valid credit card and this does only apply for new users. And yes, you can use any other cloud providers that allow you to spin up your own Windows server such as Microsoft Azure, or you can do this on-prem as well on your laptop. But you will need to perform some additional configurations, which is out of scope for this project. With that being said, let's go over what you can expect in part one, which is building out a diagram. Before we begin building out this project, we must start off with creating a diagram to help us visualize how our environment is going to look like. And part one is going to be dedicated to doing just that. Once we're done building out our diagram, we will then move on to part two, which is setting up everything in the cloud. Again, I will be using Vulture as our cloud platform and we'll begin creating our virtual machines along with configuring our firewall so we do get some experience with that. After our virtual machines are up and running, then we can move on to part three, which is the Active Directory setup. Here, we will start installing Active Directory onto our server and promote it to a domain controller. Additionally, we will join a computer to the domain and create some users as well. Lastly, we'll make sure everything is working by logging in as the newly created user. And once that is all good, we'll then move on to part four, which is Splunk configuration and alerts. In part four, we'll begin installing and configuring Splunk onto our Ubuntu server that we spun up in the cloud and begin ingesting telemetry collected from our Windows endpoints. Once we confirm that Splunk is getting the proper logs, I will then walk you through on how you can create a basic alert within Splunk, where our objective is to detect unauthorized successful logins. Upon completion, we'll move on to the last and final part, which is Slack and Shuffle automation. In this final part, I will walk you through on how you can integrate both Slack and Shuffle for automation and response. The goal here is to create a small automation playbook for successful unauthorized logins, where it will then send a notification into Slack and email the SOC analyst to ask them, hey, do you want to disable the user? And if the analyst selects yes, the playbook would then automatically disable the user in Active Directory. Pretty cool, right? I do want to point out that I will be releasing each part on Tuesday. So you do have a couple of options here. You can follow along each week, or you can wait until all of the parts are out and then complete it in one go. The last thing I want to mention is that I am also in the middle of building out another 30-day SOC analyst challenge where you can sign up at mydefer.com slash challenge. And I'll also leave this in the description down below. That is it for the video, and I hope that you are as excited as I am to get started on this project. Remember to stay curious and do things differently.